Welcome to the KR Films Entertainment Channel. Helena is a 20-year-old astronaut who has lived almost her entire life in a spaceship named Orbiter 9 because of factors like overpopulation, global warming and a toxic environment. Scientists on Earth have sent her on a mission to the supposed habitable planet Celeste. It is believed that it will take her more than 20 years to reach the planet in. Actually an infant Elena was brought to the spaceship by her parents and they raised her there however three years back a malfunction in the system caused the Orbiter 9's oxygen supply to deplete had a rapid rate hence her parents took the tough decision to commit the unthinkable so that their daughter could have enough oxygen to reach the nearest outpost in this way Helena has spent the last three years alone on the spaceship. Her daily routine consists of watering her veggies, exercising, checking her health status and reminiscing about her parents. By this time she has even started having difficulties and breathing as the oxygen supply is almost up. One day the alarm in the spaceship starts blaring and this worries Helena as it is the first time. She's experienced such an event she immediately heads over to the control room to inspect and finds out that a shuttle has a joined her spaceship. It turns out that her distress call has finally been answered. Helena rushes to the entrance and when the door opens an engineer named Alex enters she is equally stoned and happy to see him as it has been three years since early. Last interaction with someone Alex introduces himself and proceeds to examine the oxygen system but Alina can't take her eyes off of them possibly because she has never seen a man her age before. A few hours later as Alex is busy with the repairs Helena invites him for dinner to which he agrees later during dinner Helena keeps asking his lot of questions. But for some reason Alex is called he simply mentions that he has to finish his work and return to his outpost Alex is a boy in space the next day Alex successfully repairs the oxygen system and prepares to leave that night while you're sleeping Helena silently enters his room and gets on top of them as she is busy staring Alex wakes up and it asks her to get down but Helena he was been alone her entire life mentions that it might be another 20 years before she sees someone again she then slowly kisses him and soon too to have quarters the following morning Alex packs all his belongings and departs without even bidding Alina a proper goodbye after leaving the spaceship he enters a strange hallway. And then makes his way upstairs surprisingly he comes out of what appears to be a bunker which is placed in the middle of the woods here we get to know that the Orbiter 9 is not a spaceship after all and the entire thing is being staged on earth in the next scene Alex gets in his truck and drives through the woods which appear to be a top secret facility. City we can clearly see that there are more bonkers like holiness and the entire operation is known as Project Orbiter it's like a centrifugal Truman show shortly after Alex reaches the entrance which is heavily guarded by military personnel that evening he heads to the base of operations and meets the project manager Hugo Hugo takes out his tablet and shows us to test sticks to Alex which reveals that there are in fact 10 orbiters he claims that the progress is good and if everything proceeds at the same pace the real want to Celeste may happen in the next 20 years despite the good news Alex is upset as he worries about the 10 test subjects that have been isolated in the orbiters I wonder how many of them he's cool. Modest however Hugo tells him that sacrificing 10 people for the good of humanity is the right thing to do at night as Alex is heading home a news report states that it has been 5 years since the Celeste spaceship disaster on that fateful night the spaceship which was carrying 207 crew members experienced a sudden mechanical failure just aft. To exiting the Earth's surface this resulted in a fatal crash that killed everyone on board the head engineer of the spaceship has revealed to be none other than Alex himself ever since the incident he has been shrouded with guilt and sorrow has not only did several people die but humanity also suffered a major setback in their quest to Celeste the next morning. Alex meters therapist Sylvia who uses a highly futuristic screen to conduct her sessions with the help of the screen people on both sides can't see each other and even their original voice is distorted all they can see is a computerized wolf which resembles their facial movements unable to hide his depression anymore Alex reveals about the specifics of his job. Sylvia and explains how he feels bad for the 10 test subjects as days passed by Alex starts getting more and more paranoid he regularly watches videos and live feeds of Helena implying that he is unable to shake her from his mind then one day he finally decides to risk it all he gets in his car and heads to the facility meanwhile. 
Inside the Orbiter 9 as Helena is undergoing her regular health checkup the alarm starts blaring once again this surprises Selena as her spaceship is far away from any outpost soon the entrance door opens and they casually dressed Alex emerges from it he immediately informed her that they are not in a spaceship and that they have to escape but holy no who is frozen on. Fear doesn't speak a word to prove his point Alex takes out a hidden camera and also a microchip implanted inside Helena to track her vital organs he also tells her that he is doing this for her safety Helena is still in disbelief but since she has a crush on Alex she agrees to go with him the science may not check out but my hormones do before leaving. Alex hacks the camera feed and uploads an older recording of Elena so that no one suspects their escape following this the two exit the Orbiter 9 when Holiness steps out of the bunker she is momentarily dazed and has difficulty walking and she is experiencing sunlight and natural air for the first time Alex that hides her inside his truck and somehow clears her through the air. Parents check up later he stops by a hill and reveals everything about the Orbiter program and how it came into existence. The program was designed to accustom a human to space so that the upcoming launch day Celeste can go smoothly. He also informs Selena that her parents are still alive but when the ladder expresses her desire to meet them he refuses turns out that a Parents are also part of the project shortly after the two reach Alex's home and Helena is surprised to see normal household equipment she also experiences rain for the first time and becomes delighted the following day Alex visits Sylvia and informs her of what he's done worried about her client safety Sylvia shows her real self to Alex and promises to help him if things go awry that night Alex takes how and out and shows her around the city he buys a variety of meals for her something which she has never experienced in her isolation when Elena talks about the sea he simply takes her to an aquarium and introduces her to different fish the next morning Alex leads Selena to his private office where he has a bean of computer setup he explains that it is the place from which he keeps an eye on the orbiters and tracks their progress clearly stressed by the breach in privacy Paulina asks Alex how he could be involved in such an inhumane act but the latter replies that it's for the betterment of humanity with all the data and statistics gained from the orbiter project they will be able to flawlessly sent a real spaceship to Celeste in the coming years in the next scene Alex takes Selena to a nightclub and introduces her to his friends one of them is Dr. Shao a well-known physician he asks Selena about her hometown but before she can reply Alex makes up an excuse and divert the topic he wants to keep holding his identity a secret at any cost at only while the group talks about the implications of the Orbiter program and how it can help humanity in the long run Alex believes that the progress is good but Dr. Shaw asserts that instead of finding a new planet people should focus on making Earth a better place. One day Alex notices some rashes on Holiness back and takes her to his friend Dr. Shaw after examining Helena on. Surface shower reveals that her skin is very sensitive as if she has never been out in the side he then sends her for a thorough check up and interrogate Alex about her true identity shower suspects that she has something to do with the orbiter program and Alex finally reveals everything that evening while Alex is away Helena enters his room and starts going through. His files in one of these files she finds out something shocking it turns out that she is not an offspring after all but actually a clown she then flips over some pages and finds the address of her surrogate parents devastated by the revelation and the fact that Alex lied to her she gathers her belongings and heads outside to find her parents. Later Alex arrives at home and realizes that Ellen has discovered the truth about her genetics he is visibly upset but can do nothing to find her elsewhere Elena finds her parents and confronts them for abandoning her the mother who seems to be caring tells Elena that although she is a clown she has the genetics of people from different centuries making her extremely high. Alfie just then the father approaches Hyena from behind and cuffs her to the railing he then proceeds to contact Hugo but surprisingly the mother knocks him out and helps Selena escape a few hours later she meets up with Alex and berates him for hiding the truth from her with no words to defend himself Alex simply apologizes and hugs her however that. Trouble has just begun realizing that Hugo and his people have gotten wind of the escape Alex and Elena pack their belongings and take off the next day Hugo meets up with the chief benefactor of the Orbiter project Catherine and briefs her about the situation as expected the boss is far from impressed as one of her valuable asset has escaped when Hugo asked her for a salute. 
Pierre and Catherine orders him to find Helena and kill her elsewhere. Alex takes Alina to her long-time confidant Sylvia and asks for a place to stay. Being the kind woman that she is, Sylvia gladly accepts. But before she can escort them out, she hears a knock at her door. Outside, she finds Hugo and two armed soldiers on the lookout for Alina. It turns out that he rummaged through Alex's apartments and found Sylvia's business card there. The men then barge inside the place and start looking around. Soon they reach one of the therapy booths, not realizing that the couple is on the other side. Hugo then orders Sylvia to start the screen, and as she does so, Alex and Elena freeze in their place. They do not even blank because if they'd. So the wolf simulation will also move and below their cover this goes on for a while and when Sylvia refuses to hand over the couple one of the soldiers shoots her dad with terrorizes the couple on the other side and they immediately run away then an intense chase ensues on the rooftops with the couple managing to stay one step ahead of the bad guys however they Or eventually cornered when they come across a dead end with no alternative laughed Alex proposes to jump to another terrorist he goes first but when it's latest her and she freezes in fear and is eventually apprehended Alex can do nothing but watch as you go and his men take her away that night a distraught Alex heads to the same night club and approaches his friend shower who is also apparently beaten up by Hugo and his man shall expresses his concern for Alex and also mentions that the test results of holiness are out unfortunately she is unfit to stay in this environment and will have to go back inside the orbiter nine immediately the revelation devastates Alex but an idea strikes his mind in the meantime Hugo Hugo approaches Catherine and asks her if he can reinstate Elena back into the Orbiter program. However, she refuses, claiming that it will cost them a lot of money. She then orders him to finish Elena off immediately. Said that the news doesn't spread elsewhere. Following the orders, Hugo starts preparing the euthanization process. But before he can end it all, Alex arrives out. At the building and proposes a deal to Hugo other the latter has already made up his mind to kill Helena he still calls Alex inside for the sake of their friendship wasting no time Alex mentions that Helena is pregnant with his child a child which could be of significant importance in their projects he then proposes that Helena be allowed back in the orbiter alongside him so that They can both raise their child in the environments this would create the perfect astronaut so that after 20 years here she can lead the real spaceship to last surprisingly Hugo likes the idea when he lets the couple head back into the orbiter in the final scene 20 years have passed by outside orbiter 9a now old Hugo waits for a girl to Come out of her bunker presumably Alex until in his daughter the girl smiles at someone behind her and then looks into the sky the movie ends as the spaceship ready to take off for